life, death, life, death, life and death on the tongue. Life, death, life, death, life, death, life and death on the tongue. Hello, this is my name is Kavi and this is the, my testimony of when I accepted Jesus Christ. My whole life I believed in God. But I didn't, I didn't really know about him that much. I didn't know that we had to have a relationship. I don't even think I knew that God loved us. I just thought like God was just a guy on a wall, on, on the four corners of the wall that looked at us. I didn't know. And I, I thought that I was going to go to heaven that my mom like told us about stuff. My, my grandma. My mom told us what my grandma told her. So basically, they talk about like an art was going to come or, or whatever. And I thought I was just going to be there. Like, I didn't realize I had to be saved. I didn't know what that was. I didn't. I barely even heard about Jesus. Jesus, like my grandma talked about God, but I never heard about Jesus. I believed in God my whole life. And, and as long as I can remember, I prayed when I was little and up. Little when I was born and up to 15 years old, I believed in God. And now I'm 16. So here it is. In the middle of 2021, I don't even remember that much, but I went was on YouTube because that's what I did. I just stayed up all night and stayed on YouTube. It was just a boring life. I did nothing. In the middle of 2021... I saw a video called Jesus is Coming, and I think it was like a rapture dream or whatever of a of a girl or something. And I clicked it, and then I watched it, and obviously I believed it straight away. Like, I literally just believed it straight away, because I believed in God. And I don't even remember, like, what I thought about Jesus. Like, did I even, like, believe? Like, I believed in Jesus. I, f I, I learned about him myself. Like, nobody told me about him. I didn't, I don't even think I knew he died on the cross. I didn't even think, I didn't even know about sin. I just thought I was saved, like... I didn't even know about being saved, and I didn't even know about salvation or any of that. So on that YouTube video I watched, it, it was about a rapture dream, and ever since that day, every single day, I, I, I believed. So then when I watched it, I went told my family, like, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Uh, I was obsessing over the fact that Jesus is coming, and I believed it straight away. I believed every single thing. All the rapture dreams I watched, I believed it. I read the book of Revelation inside the Bible. Um, I read the whole book, and that was the first time I ever read a whole chapter of the Bible. That's the, like, the first whole bible book i read but i didn't really understand it at first and then that uh, that little phase lasted for about like five weeks i mean two weeks that lasted for about like two weeks and then after that two weeks i just went back to my regular life but i'm probably forgetting stuff i'm not really good at telling this after that phase i was obsessing over the fact that jesus is coming i talked i was talking to him i didn't know him i also lied to myself saying that i loved jesus but I didn't love him. I didn't understand him like that. I didn't really know him. I talked to him. I prayed. I realized. I started realizing things. Then after that, I just went back to regular old sin. Chasing lust. Sinning. Not caring. Even though, while I did all that stuff, I, I still felt bad. I really didn't want to do that. I knew it was good. But during, but during that whole time when I stopped, I was still, it was still in my head the fact that sin is real. Jesus is coming. Like, every once in a while, I would think about it. And during that time also, like... If I was just on, since I went back to YouTube in the, my old ways, I would just scroll through YouTube. And then I would see a comment about, like, Jesus loves you, or Jesus is coming, or a Bible verse. All the time, I would see things like that. Like, not all the time, but, like, sometimes I would just see stuff like that. And then I, re I would remember, like, Jesus is coming. Like, why am I seeing this? Jesus must be showing me this. But still, I went to sin, even though I knew it was bad. And I felt kind of bad, but I still did it anyway. Sinned, even said bad words. I barely say bad words. Went back to my old ways. Then, then the whole year 2020 went by while I was still on my old ways. And then, um, at the end of 2020 in December is when the real stuff happened. I was still sinning. My birthday was December 9th. When my birthday came, and my sister was on a live one time, and a girl came on talking about Jesus. Like, like, seriously, why am I seeing all this Jesus stuff everywhere? She came on talking about Jesus, and then, like, it's just like a weird thing. Like, what? Like, how did that happen? Like, randomly, it did, like, it randomly happened to me. And, like... Thank God, like, I love Jesus. Yeah, so I would just see, like, a Bible verse about Jesus sometimes. And then, like, I was still in my sins. But, like, like I said, my birthday was December 9th. And then, when my birthday came, I was still seeing that stuff. But then when my birthday came, that's when I really started to get on that teenage stuff. So I was turned 16. And then after 16, 16 years old, the week of, of my birthday week, because 16 and then... And then, because uh, I turned 16, so 9, so December 9th, 10, 11, 12, and on. That's when, like, stuff started happening, seriously. Shifts in the atmosphere. So on, these, on my 16th the birthday, I turned 16 years old. And then I was just on Instagram. 
on stuff, still seeing Jesus stuff sometimes, once in a while, going down through Instagram to see something about Jesus. I was chasing lust, I was with my sister, always on Instagram, doing provocative things, pictures, bad stuff, sins, trying to soothe my ego, trying to soothe my ego. I was on Instagram taking a lot of selfies, really getting out there, trying all these new things. Thank God I didn't go that far. And then, like, it's weird, because during that same time, while well, I was doing that stuff, that while I was on Instagram and all these apps trying to find friends and and dating buddies randomly literally randomly I started I just randomly read my Bible like and like I got this Bible during the time when I started obsessing over the fact that Jesus was coming and I didn't want to go to hell obviously and I felt like I wanted to know Jesus like I don't know so then I just started picking up my Bible like I don't even remember the day but I don't even remember the day or how it happened but I randomly read the Bible, and then I just couldn't stop reading it. Every day, I would get up, walk back and forth right here in my room, even even read it to my sister and I. I, I just started randomly reading it. I started in the book of Genesis and just went down in it, and it was the furthest I ever went in the book of Genesis. Um, I just randomly started reading it. And while I was reading it, I, my mindset went back to the, the first time I thought about Jesus. My mindset, while I was reading it, my mindset went back to the fact that Jesus was coming. Then I started remembering my sins. I started, you know, feeling bad and stuff. And while I was reading it, I would pray, like, sorry, Jesus. Every day, like, I would go to the window right here. I would be like, because I lied to myself saying I love Jesus when I know I don't. Didn't, and it felt bad, so I just didn't say it. I was like, Jesus, I don't know you, but I want to know you. I want to love you. Help me love you. I, I want to know you. I'm sorry. I repent of my sins every day. Every day, every night, walked around all the time, just spoke to Jesus and said I was sorry for my sins. And and go. let me go back real, for a couple of things. During my birthday week also, this was like a big part. So my aunt took me and my sister and I, because our birthday is both in December, to see lights, Christmas lights, a light show. So we got in the car and we literally stayed in the car so long because the line was literally so long. Like, And wh when we got to the light show, we drove through and then there was this song on the radio that played it was like a song about jesus and then i thought to myself while i listened to that i remembered you know jesus is coming and maybe that's why i picked up my bible i don't know like i just randomly pick it up and i barely even remember like that was just like something like crazy and weird so um yeah i saw i heard a song it was called let there be light and i liked that song so i decided in my head that i wanted to look that song up but then when I got home after the light show, I didn't look that song up until like two or three days. I finally remembered to look it up. I looked that song up and I listened to it and I wasn't sure if that was really a Jesus song. I felt wrong because I didn't want to listen to something that's not about Jesus. I didn't want to listen to something bad that's not of God. But it was it was a Jesus song. Then that was the first time I ever looked up worship songs. So I looked up worship song and the first song that I really got hooked on of a worship song, it was called I Surrender. Because, like, I was, like, it suited me. Like, I wanted to surrender to Jesus. So, basically, in that time, while I was praying every day, saying, Jesus, I want to love you, I want to know you, and stuff, I was also always on YouTube, watching all these godly videos, um, watching all these worship songs, listening to them, telling, even telling my family, like, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. Like, Jesus is real. Like, I watched all these other things of people getting filled with the Holy Spirit, watch all these videos of, like, People speaking in tongues, like, I never speak in tongues. I watch, like, all these videos on YouTube, all these godly videos, worship songs, like I said, what else, like, just all these godly videos and worship songs and information and things. And also, during that time, I, I always prayed, I always prayed, always asked Jesus, I don't know you, but I want to love you. And I really was sad, like, I really felt sad, I really wanted to know Jesus, I really desired him, like, in my heart, I just really wanted to know him and i really wanted to love him like who is this jesus i want to know him i was praying always acting jesus repenting every morning every night all around all the time listening to worship music but i didn't worship him i was just listening to music watching these godly things and yeah and also reading the bible i will wake up every day i, I will literally sleep with this picture of jesus like seriously that's like i'm not gonna idolize a picture uh, that's what i did it's just crazy yeah so i read the bible and then Every day when I read the Bible, I would just desire Jesus more. I would just desire to know Jesus more. I always have my Bible under my pillow. I would read it every day, walk around reading it. Then, 
this is where the breakthrough started. This, 10 days after my birthday, 10 days after my ninth, my December 9th, my 16th birthday, it happened on December 9th, 2020. I remember right here, before night fell, I was looking out my window and spoke to Jesus like, I want to know you, like, I started feeling discouraged. I even laid down on the bed while my sister was right here. I was just looking at, still looking out the window, looking at the window, just thinking about Jesus, but I was sad, like, I want to know Jesus, I don't, like, I don't love him, like, I want to know him. And then it was just like a quick thing, and then when night fell, I went back to what I always did. I went on, not sin, I went back on the computer and went back to the godly videos, worship songs, looking up things, like, how to, Jesus, like, all this Jesus stuff, looking up things and stuff, yeah. And then, um, I looked up, and then... Like, I don't even know where I got this from. I think it was from I, I Surrender. I don't even... Sorry, I talk fast. I don't even know where I got this from, but I, want, I, I looked up how to worship Jesus, how to worship God. I looked up how to worship God. Then I saw a girl's video, and then I saw that that's how she worshiped God. So I decided, okay, I'll try that too. So then, yeah, I went on an evangelist, Gabriel Fernandez or whatever, Hernandez or something like that. It was a prayer to the fire of God. I went on that prayer... I, I lifted my hands up, like, that was just like a reflex, like, I don't even know, like, started praying, I was like, Jesus, I'm sorry, and then while he was praying, I lifted Jesus up, because he led, saying, to lift Jesus up and to worship him, while um, I was praying, I was like, Jesus, I, I want to love you, I want to know you, I'm sorry for my sins, then all of a sudden, <laughs> my hands literally got on fire, my hands were shaking all over the place, so much, like, shaking all over the place and i was literally on fire like then i randomly started saying jesus i love you i love you jesus i love you jesus i started saying i love you jesus i started saying i love you jesus i love you jesus then i started remembering my sins and i was like i'm sorry for my sins i'm sorry for my sins and like i could just sense the fact that jesus was literally right there like even though i didn't see him with my real eyes or with my spiritual eyes even though i really didn't see him i could sense the fact that he was literally right there oh my goodness he was really right there and trust me i could feel it in my gut i know it I could see that he had a white garment, but I really, like, literally, I did not see Jesus at all. I didn't even see him, like, but I just know he was there. Because it's different from other times when I feel the Holy Spirit. But that time it was different because I literally felt like Jesus was there. Like, I literally know it. I literally felt like, like, wow, I just, I know this guy, like, <laughs> Jesus. And then I was just on fire. Then, I was under the blanket and my sister was on, on right there. I was under the blanket, shaking up in there, started crying. Saying sorry for my sins, saying I love you, Jesus. Got up, because I thought that Jesus was done with me. I, I came up, got up, turned on my light. I thought that Jesus was done. When I got up, man, I, I was still shaking. I was like, Anaya. I was like this to my sister. Anaya, Jesus is here. And she was so scared. She she thought I was demonic, possessed or something. She was scared. She was like, Kaylee, stop. <laughs> she was scared. And man, I love that day. I want to relive it. So I turned off the light, I was still shaking, still shaking, shaking all over my body. And you know, like when there's a like a heavy book bag, it felt like a heavy book bag had got off me. You know, like when you work out, when you like finish working out, lifting some weights and your legs are like, like sore. Like if it literally felt like something came, came off. Like I know some people say this sometimes, but for real, it's true. Like something just lifted off of me. Like not like a demon, like a heavy, a, a heavy big cardboard box just came off and I was just like shaking. I... And after that, after I finished getting all that shaky, shaky stuff, that fire, the Holy Ghost fire, I was over here rejoicing mad hard. I was, um, I, I was on the bed, and then I realized, wow, Jesus is really coming. Wow, Jesus is real. Like, what? Jesus is real. And I was like, rejoicing. I was like, I should write a book saying all this stuff. Like, And I was like, thank you, Jesus. You quenched my thirst. I was so much rejoicing, and that's when like my life really started. Because before that, you know, Tried to fill my life with other, other things, but you know, felt kind of dead. Felt, you know, lonely, cried sometimes. It was like, a, thank God it didn't get worse before Jesus came and pulled me out of this maze. The lost sheep, the lost sheep. I was the lost sheep and Jesus found me. He chose me. Thank you so much, Lord. So, man, I love Jesus so much. So, this is not the end of the story. This is not the end of the story. It goes even further. Well, that should be the end, but I still have more to share. So then, let me see. After that, I was just rejoicing. Every day, I kept on reading the Bible. I was on fire reading the Bible every day. I'm pulling out my Bible right now. Don't mind my baby sister. What, Nini? 
don't come in. No, my baby sister, Nini. Nini, just play with your toys. Okay, so where was I? So, here it is. So, after December 19th, December 26th, I fasted. I, not December 26th, I had fasted like two days before or one day before. I fasted, I was still in that godly stuff, reading the Bible, I was on fire for Jesus. I loved him. Loved him. I was on fire for Jesus, so I fasted for the first time ever. And that was hard, you know? Still did it. But I had ate some chips before I be, before the fast. I had ate some chips, but that wasn't when I was fasting. I felt like I shouldn't have ate it. I was, I ate that junk food. But that was a different day, and then the next day I fast for the first time ever. So that fast, at first I was like, Lord, I'm fasting so you could see, so I could see you. And then I changed it to the to me that I would just be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. So like two days later, or one day after the fast, I went on a video again. Oh yeah, after I had felt the Holy Spirit, the second day, I felt it again. I was like on fire. I kept on feeling the fire. Like on when I would pray, I would feel it again. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Yeah, I kept on feeling the fire. The fire kept on being there still. And then, like, yeah, I felt the fire again the next day and the next day. So then, when I fasted, I changed it to me wanting to get baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire with the evidence of speaking in tongues or whatever. I just, yeah. So then I, like, after the fast, two days or one day later, I went on a video called Baptized with the Holy Ghost and Fire. But I had watched that video previous times. Like, I watched that video about, like, six or five times. Then the last time I watched it, I went on that video. Then, started praying again. Under the blanket. All of a sudden, my mouth just started saying all this stuff, like tongues. My my belly was like twisting, like going up, like it was like going up. And I was on fire again. I was over here like, ah, saying all this stuff. <laughs> I was saying all this stuff. Yeah, so I was just speaking in tongues. Yeah, so I was just speaking in tongues, and yeah, I was on fire. And it's just crazy, like, I love Jesus. I'm literally in love with him. Like, wow. No, I think this is the end of my testimony. But there's a lot of stuff that happened to me before this. Let me just share this one one thing that happened to me one time before I accepted Jesus. I always used to I always prayed. Then one night, you know, I just felt when I prayed, I just felt like it was a work I had to do. But I would even stay up all night to avoid the fact, to avoid praying, because I really didn't feel like praying. I didn't want to pray. And sometimes I would stay up all night. Then I would just go on the video, under the blanket like. God, I'm just going to pray in my head. Then I would just do this trash little weak prayer that is. <laughs> so then I always prayed. Then one day I decided not to because I didn't want to. And that was when I was not praying all these weird thoughts in my head. I heard like a third voice in my head while I was dozing off. S literally say with a scary deep voice, the devil's name, Satan. Satan. It was so scary I started praying so hard. <laughs> Alright, so thank you, thank you for watching my testimony. When I first met Jesus Christ, if you got questions, you got, oh yeah, and I'm still 16. If you got questions, just, just tell me the questions. Thank you for watching my testimony. See you.